Hi, I'm Rui Rijo, and in this video, we will talk about cost planning. Just to remember a few things from the previous videos. Everything starts with the scope planning uh, and the deliverable of uh, WBS, where all the scope of the project is uh, structured and we will start with the uh, uh, work packages to build the estimation of effort and duration of the project. Only after the effort and duration of the project, we can across the, uh, the cost of the project. Just to remember, effort is the time that you will spend to do a task. And duration is in calendar months. If you take two hours to do a task and you just have one hour per week, then your effort will be two hours, but your duration will be two weeks. Okay. Cost is calculated from the effort, not from duration. From the duration, we calculate the, the, the critical path and the, the duration of the project. So we sequence the uh, work packages and uh, we estimate the effort after the effort we estimate the duration using uh, the uh, time available for the resources and then we get to the duration of the project by calculating the critical path so uh, after the, the duration estimation and the effort estimation then we can get to the cost. Cost comes from the effort. And we can uh, calculate the cost based on two main issues. Human resources, profiles needed in what quantified for each activity, and material resources. How many servers do we need? Laptops, uh, software packages, networks, rental of computing power, hardware and software leasing, trips, to, to meetings or testing, telecommunications, training costs, office space, and so on, and so on, and so on. So to estimate the cost, we start from the each work package. And in which work package, we have a profile associated, a human resources profile associated to perform that work package, okay? And uh, using that uh, profile, we need to get an estimation of the cost of the profile. Imagine that we have a junior programmer for a certain work package. And that work package has a, an effort of 10 hours. So uh, to know the human resources cost of that work package, we must multiply the cost of the profile uh, per the efforts. And then uh, we'll do it all over all the other tasks and we get human resources cost of the project. Regarding the material resources, we apply the same idea. For each work package, we identify the costs of each resource that we need to perform that work package. And then we multiply the cost of the resource plus the effort. And then we sum uh, for all the work package and we get the material resource. Of course, imagine that you need uh, a computer or a cloud computer for all over the project. You will not calculate it each work package, but you will calculate it all over the project to assign that computer or that cloud computing or whatever you need. Okay, that is all over the project. Of course, after calculating the human resources and the material resources for all the work packages, you should take into account the operational costs. You will have secondary activities uh, that support the main activity of the project, like water, electricity, uh, whatever, space, uh, paper, uh, printing to be done in this case, is to calculate all the operational costs all over one year and to assign uh, a percentage of those operational costs 
to each project. Okay, there are other ways to do this. This is the, the most simple way. Of course, you could use other technique that would be activity-based cost. For each activity, you could assign those secondary costs, but uh, that will take much more effort and much more time. In this uh, uh, cost planning, we will not take into consideration uh, other things like uh, uh, taxes, um, operationalization, and uh, amortizations, and uh, other, other stuff that is uh, for more the finance analytical part of the project. We will just take the project management issue and this to calculate the direct and indirect costs of the project. I hope it will be useful and uh, we will keep you in touch for the next videos.